All right. This is the third time I'm trying this now. <laughs> so, um, when I came in, um, well, as always, you already know who it is, Target Individual CJBK. And, um, you know, I just came home um, from, not really from work. I finished work a long time ago, but I came back from the city having a, a really good lunch and everything. And, um, you know, I come home to some new changes, right? So um, I go to plug up my, um, my uh, whatchamacallit, I go to plug up my uh, speaker, my Bluetooth speaker, and which I have to get a new one because my auxiliary input is not working because I stopped using the Bluetooth because, you know, the electronic handlers, they're sending jamming frequencies into the Bluetooth speaker, causing it to, you know, cr you know, have static and stuff when I'm trying to listen to music and whatnot. But anyway, so I go to try to plug up my Bluetooth speaker so it can charge for tomorrow. And I realize there's no power coming from the cable, right? Now, um, besides 12, I'll explain 12. Um, the only ones I have on or had on was two, six, and seven. Two, six, and seven. Two, six, and seven, you got refrigerator, stove, and bedroom AC. And bedroom AC is actually the power for the living room AC. As you can see, the living room AC is off but i'm gonna show you see that's the kitchen i'm coming over here this is the living room ac living room ac is on so that's that's in the previous that's in the previous video um so yeah i come home find that the outlet isn't on or the the power is not on for the uh the tv and stuff so i had to go through trial and error to figure out which switch do i flip to turn the tv and stuff on and as i went through the list boom i had to hit 12 12 bathroom gfi so um yeah, just letting everybody know, I can't make this stuff up, man. I really can't make this stuff up. Um, yeah. I did I reach my first year yet? I think I, I think I. Well, I don't know. I'm I'm at the point where I realize I probably been getting gang stalked and neuro monitored since I moved in here in September 2019. So I don't know. Um see and I'm fighting the urge to well cuz no cuz like like I've always I've always known people mad people from the Bronx. I don't have no problems with the Bronx. I don't have no problems with people from the Bronx. But you know it like this whole gang stalking shit didn't start until I moved here. But I know it's not everybody. It's just some of these people that probably live in this building. Maybe some people that, you know, that's around the block or whatever. Who knows? Um, but yeah, uh, I can't make this up. This is like the third video where I'm basically recording the evidence that, you know, Gang stalkers can tamper with your tamper with your uh, your electrical um, outlets and everything. So anyway, um, yeah, this is just another day in the life of being a target individual, you know. But as you can see on my face, I don't let it get to me. I just basically say, Chris, relax and assess. Relax and assess, relax and assess. Because that's basically all you gotta do as a target individual. Because remember, what they're trying to do is they're trying to bring your frequencies down. Stress is the actual frequency. Stress is a very low frequency at that. And stress, being that it's a low frequency, it actually can make you sick. Sickness thrives on very low frequencies. 
you know. Um, so, look, all you targeted individuals out there, or empowered individuals, I like to consider us empowered individuals because, you know, it takes a community of people to try to destroy, you know, a good person's life. You know, we don't do anything to no one. And most of the time, I, I'm starting to realize through a lot of research that, like, if someone is being targeted, it's probably because they did something that was actually morally and ethically right. You know, a lot of them are like whistleblowers. A lot of them are, you know, people who probably stood up against, you know, domestic violence. A lot of them are probably, you know, women that turned down dudes who are assholes or something like that, you know, um... But yet these people who are doing the gang stalking, they're everything from they're everything from pedophiles, um, sex traffickers, you know, um what else? They're everything from they they're like a number of different things. And and then on top of that, they have the nerve to recruit other people, or I believe they're extorting other people too. I believe they're extorting people. And um you know, where I grew up, they got a whole, you know, it's like a no snitching, no snitching, you know, world or whatever. So, um, you know, people hear a voice in their head and, you know, somebody telling them don't say nothing. And it's just like, you're telling me a sane person sits there and go, okay, I'm not going to say nothing, even though I'm hearing a voice in my head that's not mine. I don't know how sane you are if you don't even, if you don't, like, say anything. Like, that's weird as hell. Like, how do you, how are you comfortable with hearing another person's voice in your head and you could tell it's a whole-ass person? You gotta understand that if you can hear another person's voice in your head and they can actually have a conversation with you, you gotta understand they're not just only talking to you. They're also like stealing your neurological data. They basically can upload your thoughts, your memories, everything that you see, everything that you do say here. They can basically scan your brain frequencies for all of the things that you have saved in your memory. And then they will upload it to some cloud, wherever, Wherever this server is at, probably on the dark web or, or you know, maybe some, like I, I'm thinking it's a quantum computer, but I'm just like, dude, would they really have a quantum computer? And I'm just like, because the quantum computers are out. You can buy a quantum computer. But I'm just like, you know, with everything that they're doing, I'm just like, so everyone is OK with the fact that, like, if you and your wife or your spouse are, you know, you know, let's say making love or whatever, you're okay with the fact that they can see through your eyes everything that you're doing with your spouse. You're okay with that. You just agree to that. You just agree to the fact that if you are, you know, if you're, you just agree to the fact that if your child, <laughs> this is terrible, if your child is basically in the same home as you, if they're remote neural monitoring you they're definitely remote neural monitoring your child which means they can see through your child's eyes as well and i'm and i kid you not i kid you not there is nothing 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 right about what is happening right now and everybody that's so-called being rewarded for not saying nothing you have no idea what's about to blow back on you you have no idea what's about to blow back on you and God is already letting me know, Chris, stay on the path that you on right now because when it blows down, when that, because the snowball is already rolling. The snowball is already rolling downhill and it's coming pretty fast. You know, it's a big mountain because that's how, that's how deep this gang stalking stuff is. It's a big mountain. But trust and believe, if you look up, you can see that snowball coming down. And it and it might cause an avalanche. So, but yeah, like I said, this is just another example of how they uh, manipulate your uh, electricity in your home. You know. So, but yeah.
just another reminder. Um, I leave certain switches off because I'm reducing the amount of uh, electrical current flowing in my apartment so I could possibly get a decent night's sleep and not have to worry about so much EMF radiation or electromagnetic, you know, uh, radiation because they basically use the power sources around you to radiate your body when you're at, in your home. So, um, yeah. Again, as always, take life one breath, one thought, one step, one day at a time. And remember, you only have one body, one mind, one spirit, and one God. All right? Peace, y'all.